Hello everybody, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. So it does look like in the playtesting they removed the ability to set the min-max now in the prior episodes. In Let's Plays, I was showcasing how it created massive bottlenecks. So it appears you can do it at the storage facilities still. So click on the storage facility. Um, yeah, min-max. You can click on the item and set a min-max, but for the markets, they looks like they took that functionality out, which means you cannot tell them. <laughs> that was actually the only thing I really wanted it for, to be honest, was the ability to make sure luxury goods were being stored at all of the markets so that luxury goods were being evenly spread. So uh, that's unfortunate, and that's definitely it is what it is. But I wanted to point that out. So in today's episode, we are in the process of upgrading a lookout tower. So we're waiting on a merchant, which I use the buy now function. Um, you click this here, item has already been requested. Not buy now, sorry. It's a request item feature. So the next merchant will bring it, but he'll ask like the most amount of money possible. But what we're going to do is upgrade our tower to tier 2, and then put it just within range of the raider camp. And it will be able to shoot, and the raider camp should not be able to shoot it. But um, they may have made it so that... The raider camp can engage any target engaging it, so maybe it will increase. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if it still works, but we're going to try that out. It might actually be able to engage the tower, so with some of the new changes they made. They're always, they're always trying to get us. I haven't had a catapult example in this Let's Play quite yet. Um, I'm yeah, we can't pick up the dead body. So we're going to have to take out all of these guys uh, before we can raid. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to send in my troops. We're going to have to fight all those dudes. Um, and I think if we can pull... If we can pull them back, that would be best. Get him in range of this tower. Alright, cool. We were able to aggro half of them, which is awesome. Because we can separate them from the herd and try to kill the rest of them. Perfect. There we go. Take a few out at a time. God, I hate when they mob like that because they really shouldn't. Not all of them are strong enough. Someone's gonna have to die. It's just the way it is. Alright, cool. We were able to kill quite a bit of them. We're gonna return the barracks, let them heal up. We gotta kill that raid camp though, it's a real pain in the ass. Alright, look at that. This guy's buying my herbs too. Beautiful man. That's awesome too, because this iron is gonna cost a fortune. 22 per. But we only need 20. Uh, we'll buy it. I mean, we'll buy as much as we need. Does he have anything else that I need? Does not. Right. Dang, that sucks. I'm tempted to buy more, but at this point in time, just want to make sure we have enough to upgrade. Alright, 350 gold to upgrade the tower. Bye. I'm going to upgrade this middle tower. And then once we do that, I will move him. Yeah, that will give him just a little bit more power. See what we're working with. We got zero gold coming in. We got ten out of twelve. Only three archers, mostly light infantry. Very few uh, weapons. Need to buy swords. Need to properly arm everybody here. 
You can see the weeds are we're at 66 percent so we're going to see if we can get weeds down we we're able to get weeds down over here um i think we should do do this a different way we're going to try to find out the best setup to do all this stuff all right well, let's do the trader too. I don't want to sell candles at that low rate. I do want to buy a little bit more stone. All right, we're going to hit tier three in this video too. Once this is built, I need to watch my guys down here. Do not want them getting into any trouble. All right, once this is built, what I'm going to do is move it here. And then bring in the rest of those units and kill them. And then we will move the tower in range of the Raider and Camp and see if we can finish it off. There's a possibility that once the tower aggros the camp, the camp will be able to hit it now. It does seem like that the range is a little bit... Uh, it does seem like it can shoot a distance now. So we'll have to play it by ear. And we can sell boards. Oh, there's our bear that we could have been using. Yeah, no suicide bear this time. Let's get this guy down. Let's get this going. And we're in business. 183. Yeah, so event every year we're going to have more and more children becoming adolescents and increasing our workforce. Our workforce is actually pretty solid. Uh, tier 3 is all we need right now, and I have the money for it. We're good. Uh, we have the money, but right now we're gonna need quite a bit of money. So go. Put the two people in the trade post to move goods faster. All right. And I need you. You are the hero that we need. Let's wait for our, our gents to get over here. The village is looking sharp. It's looking very sharp. 64%. So we're down from 66. So this is the test where we don't use any field maintenance to see if we can get the weeds down. And this is the test where we just use the same concept but with one. Okay. You. You, sir. Are you my you are my hero? Labor. Okay. So her goal, her objective is to bring... Bring the party over. Do it. And then we engage. Perfect. Couple of units. Hmm. We got chewed up a bit there. Let's take a farmer. We can kill this though. We can get all these nice resources over here. A lot of great stuff. Another relic. Goddamn hunter blew the whole thing. Yeah, the tower is definitely keeping up keeping up the kill sprees here. Let's just dip in with the soldiers. Nice. Just need to put the tower like right about here, just well out of their reach. And we gotta see what it does. You see that arrow that shot all the way out here? Once this tower engages, it will hit. 
It will hit. It, the, they made they. So this is something people have been doing, and so I think what they did is they made it so that it could only natively shoot here, but that if it's engaged with a target, it could shoot a little bit further. Um, and that makes sense. That way, it's not you know crazy overpowered, but at the same time, you can't do this little trick that I'm showing you right now. But we could still. What the fuck is up with you guys? I said rally stance. Oof. I think it detected them. I have to have them place it now. If I cancel it, the whole thing's destroyed. They'll get it up. He stepped one tile to it, though. Oh, shit. It's, um, it's almost like it's detecting what I'm doing. Interesting. The first dude was was in a spot where it didn't it didn't matter. It will eventually get it, but it's going to be a process. But once that thing is slapped down, we'll take the aggro of this encampment and we can rush the encampment. That's taken a little bit longer than I anticipated. A lot of good herbs here, but we don't need them. These are whoa! These guys are vibrating together. That's weird. All right, let's try to build it one last time. <laughs> it's mercs that one hunter. All right, this is getting this is getting bloody. We're just gonna have to fight. Well, I'm hoping we're getting experience for doing all this stuff. I'm not exactly sure how veteran status is gained. Um, it doesn't really tell you anything. Probably should have put it back. One, I probably should have put it back just one more tile, but I do feel that the camp is going to engage as soon as this thing's up, regardless of the distance. So the main thing is, I just need to take. I need to have the extra firepower of the watchtower. And hopefully, you can take aggro. It will definitely get some of these dudes. Oh shit, those bowmen really ate us up. I feel like the game is definitely much harder. This is a really simple raid camp. One, one freaking tower. I cannot get anyone to come down here. I think what we need to do is double up the towers here. I put another tower over here. We just need to get as much much muscle down here as possible. I guess there's still the potential for the bear bear bomb. We're gonna have 
to fight. We gotta take these dudes out so they stop aggroing us. Ripped up. It's definitely yeah. It's like it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a hassle. And this suicidal hunter is probably the. I'm gonna have to just fucking move this dude because he's driving me nuts. He's driving me nuts. Keeps, he keeps aggroing. Look at this area. There we go. Fine. Right. I think we're in good shape now. Ooh, 13 a coat. Nope. I'll sell the wood. And we'll upgrade here very shortly. I'm just I want to get this done, and then we can upgrade. So then I can focus on it. This is definitely the main my main objective. Disable so, construction. Let's get this guy up first. Are they seriously building it even though I disabled? Okay, I guess we're going. <laughs> we're going in. Oh man, he was so close. It's one of the yeah, it's one of the archers there. That's what I'm saying. We can get this back tower up, then we can um, take out the ground forces a little bit faster. We're getting closer every time. Let's try to let's try to pull. Oh no, it is the camp. Yeah, the camp has like an improved range for sure. Let's do, let's pause real quick. Candles at 11. Yeah. Nothing cheap. Uh, clubs, we need to buy a bunch. I'll buy a bunch. Swords would have been nice. Probably smarter. I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do this on the cheap. We'll get a bunch of equipment once we destroy this camp. Okay. Oh, he got close. Once that I think once one of these goes up, I'm gonna have to engage. Now we're getting really close though. This is gonna be funny. At least our food situation is pretty decent. I'm hoping we can get the second tower up. Oh look at that. Two towers at once. Interesting. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? And once the garrison gets in, we'll see what happens. He doesn't have any of his bow or arrow, that's the problem. He has nothing and he's like, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Oh boy. The game, game can do some stupid things sometimes. Yeah, seek the weapons. Alright, cool. They, the one tower is going for it, and you can see it's hitting, but yeah, they, they made it so that it can attack too, but we're going to go for it. Oh man, we're not doing shit for damage. People are going to die here, but um, if we can get the camp, it's worth all their lives. And we will get this camp. I could retreat people back by the time they can run. They didn't have much on, they had like clubs. Nice. Shit. Alright, whatever though. This will be the last spawn. Shit, the pillage is being raided. Oh gosh. Um, okay, it didn't automatically rehire people, so that's great. And let, let's, let's, uh... Oh, no, no, it's not being raided. It was the... Okay, Phew, scared me. Okay. Let's have... Let's have all these dudes go back home. Alright, we did it. 
We eliminated them. Now we gotta get this shit. Now we gotta get this tower. All these people are gonna not gonna be able to get these dead bodies. We lost a lot of people. Um, alright. So, here we are. More gold is needed. Alright. So, I think the best way to do this is to spend a stupid amount of money. And hire a club. We got all the club units now. And I don't know how veterans, how the veteran status thing works whatsoever. Uh, so we're just going to get a bunch of clubs and we're going to take shit. Do we? This has been an, an utter disaster. Definitely a lot of, harder to take out those camps now that you have to pay for much higher tier units, but we're going to put everyone back. Dude, what are they doing? They're all just like yellowing in there, driving me crazy. They probably actually could do it. Because this tower can only kill so many of them. I mean, if they want to go out, they want to go out, and I'll let them do it. Let's do it. They need to hire all those dudes. Let's fire the people who got hurt. Right, I'm gonna keep it like it is right there. I think that's good. All right, cool. Well, we did it. We lost a good amount of people and we did it. Was it worth it? I think so. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it might not have been worth it, but I was getting really annoyed by all the constant notifications. And now that we get another relic from it, and depending on what this relic is, we'll determine whether or not it's worth it. And we got a bunch of items. Bunch of, we got some money. Kind of made up for some of the stuff. I don't know, man. This this patch is kind of definitely making me feel like a noob. So let's get this to tier 3. Alright, boot up builders to 14. Get our guards back in their towers. Come back. I'm really glad we got that this camp out though, because it was it was really hurting us. Now we have our perimeter defenses, we have everything we need. And we're going to do two towers over here. Tier three. Great. This road. This road. Getting the big roads right now. This road. Want all the roads. Critical stuff upgraded. Beautiful. Definitely this road. It's pretty much all our stone right there. That it was worth it? Maybe. We need to purchase more stone or... Yeah, look at that. Look how much stone was over here. I guess it was worth it. They want us to get a theater, huh? We got so much stone over here. We can get... Almost got ourselves a relic. I'm hoping this is a good relic. One that I need. Alright, we're back in the game. Alright, so weeds are at 62%, so not. It's definitely not. Gr nice, we got Eye of the Hunter. Crossbows, too. Those 15% more damage from towers and everything. Uh, we're at 13% here. Weeds are definitely a little bit trickier. So this is a great one. It's a great one. 25% more health for everybody and more damage. So, very good. The chickens. Uh, uh, we're killing the chickens. I'm sorry, everybody. They're, the chickens suck. 
What does he just really do? We're, we're getting 100 eggs and like 72 meat for 6 people. They could be doing... Literally an arborist is better at that point. 433, not bad. Chicken's gotta go. Chicken coop is not that great. They need to reconsider. We're gonna kill all the chickens and... It was a good dream. But the dream is... We're gonna repurpose this area for, for cows. I think we'll, we'll split the... We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll move the gates and everything. I'll just move it down one. That'd be fine. Alright, we can make our own bricks now. Just need to make coal. There we go. Alright, let's look at what's spoiling. Lots of vegetables. We're making more food than we need, so I'm not really worried. Uh, tier 3 housing, on the other hand. It's definitely something we should worry about. Uh, stone, so let's let's build it all up. Get the tier 3 housing. We can definitely harvest this too. We've got a lot of people out there harvesting right now, so that's great. Nice, cheap stone. We got a lot of baskets. Let's pull some gold in. Let's buy as much stone as we possibly can to get everything moving. There we go. 200 something odd stone. That's a really good start. I'm feeling good about that. That will get us all the roads. Upgrade that too. And I'll get us this baby. 650. Oof. We definitely want to upgrade it, but yikes. I do a large park. How many houses will I get? Good chunk. Let's do it. Get the tier 3 from that. I got space over here for that stuff too. I could have actually probably just done a small park right here. Still can. No reason not to. We're just we're just gonna sell stuff and make money at this point. Alright, the chicken coop. Um it's no more. We'll just de deactivate it for now. Send those guys to stone mining. They're chicken. Living the the dream just six people for fifteen chickens is over. Such a, a doubt they were working. That's all I'm saying. Now I need six people for 15 chickens. Something's going on. Someone's lying about how hard they're working. That's all I'm saying. It's like two and a percent chickens per person. <laughs> all year round. Two chickens. It's like, come on. It's a fucking really stupid ratio. Absolutely, like it should be like 50 chickens for six. It's, that's even. Ah, uh, chicken coop needs to be thought out. That's really, really dumb. Okay, we're getting raided. Uh, I have a feeling eventually we're gonna. Oh my gosh. The hunters always get kind of lampooned. Alright, so they're coming in. We've got a good amount of people and everything. We do need to make sure that we're getting two people in each tower, otherwise we're paying money for nothing. Remember, light infantry will shoot arrows if they're stationed. 
we were able to tear through that pretty quick. I, I am kind of happy about having one upgraded tower. Now we need to get crossbows eventually. The guy down here is doing a pretty good job. But the barracks is definitely doing a good job. You can see though that they're running out. So there's only two people inside. There's three. Uh, the they're still. This is the problem with foot soldiers, is they're still kind of stupid. Up. Still haven't seen the big cat yet. And that, uh, they chase too, so that's another concern of mine. Everybody starts to kind of chase, and you really don't want them doing that. Alright, we're in good shape. Not selling shoes. Um, throwing all my money back into the town. Feel good about the 244 stone that we have now. Booting it up to times three. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. But we'll get some decorations up. And we'll try to get to tier three. We've got candle production, so we're in good shape. We need three food types. Uh, we do have three food types. Because we have currently protein, vegetables, and fruit. Fruit is not coming in very high. Killed one person, we killed 31. And they destroyed three fences. Yeah, I would like a repair all button. A lot. But uh, I think we're doing pretty good right now. Considering our base is not really well designed. This <laughs> is kind of slapped together. We're doing great. All right, and the wood's coming in. All right. Yeah, it's just a monetary thing now. And we need 70. So we need a ton of stone. And bricks and iron. So I think we'll go the easy route first, which is just to spam these guys. This is why you actually need well-designed cities, though. So that you can get all of your guys to higher tiers. We can do it. And they still stack. I, don't know, I heard saw someone saying they don't. They do. You get about one. You get. I think what I have what it is is you get two percent for the first one, and then you get one percent uh, for each one after that. Nah, looks like looks like if it's close enough, you get two. So you, so he's getting two for these, and he's getting one for the ones outside there. Oh, yeah, that's a bunch of noise. The historic chicken coop is no more. Goats. We want to get goats, right? I definitely want to get some goats. I want to see if they're any better or worse. Stables, though, you're going to need quite a bit. So, we need stables, and we need goats. I think that's what we're going to shoot for right now. That's pretty good. So, stables, and then we'll get a jab up of it. Okay, cool. Then we'll figure out how big their borders are, and we'll reapply the fencing. Oh, dang, we're getting full. Right there.
19 months worth of food? Holy cow. That's the, oh, it's all the fruit. It's gonna be hard for us to get three different foods, food sources here. Yeah, we got 540 because we killed all the chickens, but <laughs> they gotta they gotta tweak that. They gotta make chickens worth it. They gotta make it worth it. They really aren't. One hunter can do much better than a whole chicken coop, so really just not worth it. I'm gonna move the armory back in here. I'm gonna put another. We're gonna need another storehouse, likely. Nice. We got one house upgraded. I think the best way to get the rest of these guys is probably a small statue, like right about here. Just gonna place it now. That should get this whole area here up, and then we'll get those people. We're building slowly right now. Why are there so many people coming over here? That's oh, the stone mining. That's right. What the hell is going on? Let's get, a, let's get a road over here. It's always good to have roads going in several directions. We got stone road to the forester, so hopefully that will help us get stuck faster. Bloom sharp. We'll touch on that that area later. This area is where I'm going to focus getting to tier 3 first. Yeah, I think each large house gives one. Each tier 2 house gives half a silver. Each tier 3 gives one. And I think each tier 4 was giving 1.5 before it goes up 0.5 tier. And the luxury taxes are really what make it things awesome yeah so as fruit comes in since we only have one market and one place for things to go uh, it's doing its job good good iron production going I mean like I said every time you want to do something you have to have people for the industry I, that's why I prefer to buy certain things because I just don't want to make the industry for it store house Nice. I'll sell herbs at any price. Ooh, crossbows at 6 to 6. It's really worth it. We have let's get some crossbows. Weed levels are kind of staying consistent. Like. Yeah, weeds are a lot harder to get down than they were before. I wonder if the infection has any kind of... I wonder if the infection has any bearing on that. We'll have to keep playing around with it. You might, It might be that you have to get your weeds down, and then you'll be okay. But uh, they seem to be a little buggy. They're not going down the natural ways. Look at dry... But yeah, we're not. We got it down from 66, though. You can see that. But it's like going down maybe 1% a year. It's taking too long. So we'll try the old, old method again. I don't know. It's weird that each fill is having a different result, though. That's why I'm thinking it's kind of buggy. It might not be buggy. It might just be that 
plants now have a lot more weeds. Every time it y uh, plant yields, it, it's procking weeds now. I don't know if it was doing that before. More crossbows. Yeah, let's get everybody with a crossbow if possible. When shit hits the fan. We get it raided by a real raid, by a lord, you know, someone with real armors. I'm still trying to figure out this thing, because we're just we're not getting any experience yet. Need a little bit of iron, and we're we're good to go on that statue. All right, well that's going to be it for the rest of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.